Trying not to bend my fate, I'm tired of fighting Saying things we don't mean, you know I don't like it When you're packing your back and turning your back Calling me a liar, calling me a liar Trying not to let my feelings get to me Sometimes I can't let them go So now I got these holes Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are stopping by for the first time, welcome. My name is Laifa and today's video is going to be a vlog. I know you guys love vlogs, but today is going to be like a cook with me vlog so we're cooking today we're cooking three different foods so special request we're going to be making chinese fried rice banga soup and nigerian stew so i already bought everything that i need to cook today but i wasn't able to get a few things so i'm just going to rush to spa now to get the remaining things that i wasn't able to get yesterday shrimps and a couple of other things so I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm not sure if they allow cameras in spa because a lot of places in Nigeria you can't vlog and do anything. So yeah, I made my hair by the way. I'm so tired of wigs. I'm so so tired of wigs. Like I don't have the energy to be straightening hair, curling hair and all that. So I just said to make my hair. I did it half up, half down ponytail. So that is what I'm going to be rocking for the next two weeks or so. So yeah, let's go shopping. Hi guys, so I'm back home. I'm done shopping. I brought everything in. We've actually been chopping all the things that I need. And the rice is actually already done with the stew. I want to have, I want you guys to see how the rice made the stew, but yeah, she's already done. The rice is now our professional stew maker. I can't show. She's kissing. The one doesn't think this is nice. I think the one she did last week is sweeter than this one, but I actually think it's nice. But I think the tomatoes was a bit slappy. Guys, I I think this has never happened to me before. Like I made one stew and thing was slappy. No matter how I fried it, everything. My friend was saying that the tomatoes is the problem. How can you tell good tomatoes? Like I really don't know. So I was telling the rat that it happens. And I wasn't even as bad as my own. I wasn't even bad in my opinion, but the rat is perfectionist. I can't show her she's here, but I can't show her she's not decent. I've decided not to do the banga anymore because I'm really tired. Like the time I was already gone. Let me just do only the Chinese fried rice today. So I'm about to start doing it now. So first things first, I washed the basmati rice. I washed it thoroughly, thoroughly, very thoroughly. Then I soaked it in hot water for almost an hour now. So right now I'm about to boil the rice. So this is the basmati rice I use. I highly, 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 highly recommend this one. It's really nice. All right, I'm ready to start cooking now. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the chicken stock. That's the water from the chicken and turkey that I boiled. Most people don't use their chicken stock to boil their rice for Chinese fried rice, but I like to use my chicken stock. People just use only white rice, but I actually prefer to use my chicken stock. I'm going to proceed to put maggi, that's seasoning cubes, in my rice. I like, I love non, non maggi, like that's the only thing I used to cook. It's what I grew up using, so it's what I've been using on <laughs> since I've been cooking. So I'm just going to put this in my rice. I like the rice to have taste before I fry. So I'm going to put only one because you know there's still uh, there's still seasoning from the sauce from the chicken stock. Now I'm going to proceed to put salt also. So this is the only quantity of water I'm using to boil the rice. You know that basmati rice, if you make a mistake, you can just make it really soft. So I like to start with little water and if it dries and I need more water, if it's still hard, I can always add more. So it's better to start with less than start with more water. So I'm just going to let this boil. So these are all the ingredients I'm going to be using. Green peas. 
red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, spring onions, green pepper, carrots. You see how I chop them really small? You want them really small like this for Chinese fried rice. Sausages. Focus, please. Thank you. Sausages. Shredded chicken. So I've had these marinating for a couple hours now. The shredded chicken and the shrimps. You want to make sure you sieve them so there's no water in it when you're frying. There's the bra. Say hi. Jesus, so rude. Why I say hi? So the first thing I like to do is take some vegetable oil and fry just a little bit. Fry my shredded chicken. I don't like to fry it when I'm doing the whole food because I don't know, I just don't want it to bring out what's and then to not ruin my stir fry. So I already put some maggi and salt to marinate this and been marinating for hours already. But I did it since. I decided to change the angle of the camera so you guys can see this is the best angle I could get. But I hope you guys are seeing it to an extent. So you can see that as I'm frying it, water is coming out. Like even though it's been seething for hours, like all the water also have come out, but yet there's still some bit of water in it. So imagine if this happened when I was already step frying everything. It will not have to step frying, it will not be boiling. That makes sense. So I'm just gonna take out the shredded chicken. Hi guys, so I decided to pop in so this doesn't get confusing for you. So I'm about to start showing clips from another day that I made this food. But these were close-up clips because the ones from the very first day I cooked this, I filmed this video for you guys. I was the only one filming, so there was no one to hold the camera at an angle that you see directly into the pot. So I just wanted to tell you guys so it doesn't get confusing. So I'm going to be showing clips from another day cooking another quantity, like a smaller quantity of food. So I'm just going to mix mix them with this first day. So I just wanted to show you guys a close-up shot of the pots when I'm cooking. I'm going to do the same thing to the shrimps. The shrimp didn't even bring out any water at all. I don't know what the problem with the shredded chicken was. But there was so much water. The last thing I'm going to fry is eggs. So I already put them in here. I'm using six eggs. I put, the, I put salt in it. You can choose to do all this while you're stir frying. I just prefer to do all this before I start. Now it's time to get to work. The first thing I'm going to do is use sesame oil. You can choose to use vegetable oil if that's what you have. But ordinarily, for Chinese fried rice, you're supposed to use sesame oil. It was really hard for me to find this thing. Like the last time I made it, I used vegetable oil. I used this one. So luckily, I found this one today, and I'm very happy about that. I want to see the difference in taste when you use sesame oil. So the first step is to put your chopped onions. After putting the chopped onion, I'm going to put my chopped garlic. There's no Chinese food that is complete without garlic. The next thing I'm putting is celery. Next, I'm putting my pepper. You normally don't put pepper, like ordinary pepper, in Chinese fried rice, but I like my food spicy. Like even when I'm doing Nigerian fried rice, I put pepper. Next thing I'm going to put is my carrots. I'm sure you guys will be saying I'm putting a whole lot of vegetables. <laughs> I love my fried rice, Chinese fried rice, Nigerian fried rice, whatever kind of fried rice I'm making. I like for it to have a whole lot of vegetables. I feel like the more the vegetables, the richer my food. <laughs> Next, I'm going to try my green peas. So I basically put 
everything my runner beans my green pepper i put everything except the red and the yellow bell peppers those are going to be last i'm going to use those to garnish my food now i'm putting my sausages and all the things are fried guys i'm feeling like i should have used a bigger pot i didn't expect all these things to be this much I decided to switch to a spatula <laughs> because the last one wasn't doing it for me. I'm going to start adding all my spices, my chicken maggi, my non maggi. Then I'm going to go into my oyster sauce. Guys, I'm not one of those people that used to measure stuff. I don't know how to measure stuff. I just eyeball it and it works for me, so I don't know. Then I'm going to go into my soy sauce. So you just taste everything. If you feel like you need to add more stuff, you add. Otherwise, we are good to go. I've put the rice back on fire. I actually forgot to mention that I put butter when I was boiling the rice. So I put butter in this. So now I'm going to turn everything in here. So now I'm going to put the red bell peppers. And the yellow bell peppers. So the last thing I'm going to put is my sweet corn. All right, guys. So food is ready. This is not my food. Um, I told you guys this food was a special request, <laughs> so I just decided to film it. So I'm going to give my friend to eat now. Guys, I'm finally done cleaning up. Jesus, I'm so tired. See me that I said I want to do banda soup today. That's not even possible anymore because it's already 5 p.m. and I need to. My video today is Sunday, and I usually upload by 6 p.m. If you don't know. So every every Sunday 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Nigerian time and it's past five already. Let me go have a bath. Join my premiere. Watch Big Brother Eviction. So yeah, I need has my food. It's it's what it's ice. That's why you took round two, guys. This is round two. She has eaten before. Right, but you know I like food. She has eaten before. <laughs> so if it, if it's not sweet, you will not take round yes, two. Yes, we're just managing. I'm managing. It's really nice. I know Sweet Coco is like digging it. She's like, yeah, that's my thing. Coco, are you enjoying your food? Huh, baby? I see how she went back like I'm stopping her. Hmm, hot tea. Where are you hot tea to? I don't know about this outfit you already already. He sure does. Is that your handbag? Yes, that's handbag. About turn, no, like about bag I've not worn. Come on, you can keep it. I've not worn it. Even if I want it, nobody's wearing my music of bags. Go and keep it. Go and snap it yourself. Not not doing that story. About I'll put it in. Give me, make a put up on myself. Okay, guys. So I've had a bath. I'm just doing my skincare. So I've already applied my hydraulic acid. Now I'm going into my vitamin C serum. I'm almost done with my skincare. I just decided to pick up the camera and show you a bit of my skincare routine for everyone that keeps asking. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I used to have really dark under eyes, but they've reduced considerably. I'm not sure whether it's the vitamin C or the ordinary hydraulic acid. So now I'm going into my face cream. I don't know if you guys caught that, but it's from, uh, what's it called? Um, More Organics. It's right in front of me and I'm thinking. But yeah, it's from More Organics. So whatever I do to my face, I like to do to my neck also. My neck has always been darker than my face 
for some reason. I don't know why. But since I started really taking care of my skin, I make sure to also take care of my neck very well. Whew. Gets into my skin, you guys. I'm so proud of my baby. All right. D. Coco Mama. I know you're happy that you're loved. Look at Coco. Anytime you want, you come near her. She's so cool. Like, are you an Ashawo baby? Every time you open your leg, she open your leg for you to rub her tummy. Hi, D. Hi, Ah, You're not covering your face today. What happened? <laughs> You keep covering your face up, yeah? That's how I'll put it. Guys, this is Dee, my sweetheart of a neighbor who's our darling now. What do you think of my Chinese fried rice? Mad. Mm. Mad. You're not just saying that. I'm, sorry, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not just saying Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I just realized something today that I didn't know before. You every Sunday. Please gather in the lounge immediately. The live eviction show is about to begin. Whew. This thing has to be never racking man. I didn't know that they actually pack their stuff every Sunday. Like they pack all their things and dress up like they're leaving. Like I know they dress up in case they are leaving, but I didn't know they pack everything. So if you don't get evicted, you now unpack again. The next Sunday, the same thing. Oh, that's that's stress, man. Serious stress. <sighs> God, you know, I can't even guess who might be leaving this Sunday. I can't guess. I don't know, maybe it might be Tochi. Tochi is so quiet. Like, it's so quiet yet. Until Lulu can go, she's the one taking care of them. Do you see how people are sitting down? Only how between dishes. <laughs> that can't be me. I can't do dishes for people like that sitting down. <laughs> So we're about to start pounding the banga. There's Dobra. So we we boiled the banga. So now we're about to put it in mortar and start pounding. So now I got this So we found it one set of banga. Now we're going to take hot water. Ooh. You can see what I 
Okay. Right, so in the second part, I'm going to use cold water. There are some bandas that you can't even bring out, so like only one round. That's the only part you can bring out oil. This one has so much oil in it. Oh, so hot. So I'm going to do that for the whole banga, but I'm not going to show that on camera because we've already showed one round. So this is actually how you get pan canyon. But feeling like I'm all alone, you don't seem to want me, even though you told me so. And baby, I want I'm done, or we are done, rather. So, this is all that came out of it. See, like it's, it filled up, it filled up the whole pot, and we sieved it again before putting it into this pot just to be on the safe side because you don't want sand or shafts inside your bag. So, I'm just going to leave this to boil all right guys so i've allowed it to boil for a little while so now i'm going to proceed to put my chopped onion so you want to cube your onions like this so just throw it in there then right here i blended pepper you can use dry pepper if you prefer So now I'm going to proceed to put my maggi. So like I said yesterday, I like to use non-maggi. Then I'm also going to put salt. Like I said yesterday, with all these things, I don't know what measurement to tell you. I just eyeball it. I get from experience. I just need the quantity to put. And I can always go back and add anyone that I feel is not enough in my food. Then I'm going to go into the banga spices. And the banga spices I usually use is this one. You can find it in the market. The Gladys Instant Banga Soup Spices. You don't want to put too much of this thing. Otherwise, to make your soup bitter. So for this big pot of soup, this is the only quantity I'm using. Now I'm putting in the catfish. I didn't put it all the while because if I put it since it would have scattered by now and you don't want your fish to scatter. So I usually like to use catfish for my banga soup. Well, you can use any preferred protein of your choice. You can use chicken, dried fish. I call this thing catfish, but apparently it's fresh fish. But I call it catfish. You can even dry this fresh fish before you use it to cook. So this is the last step before I take this thing down. Our banga soup is finally ready. So I decided to put it in this clay pot. It helps the banga to cook in. It's called fere in my language. Fere. It's a clay pot. It's a local clay pot. This is what it looks like. I remember when I was younger, my dad and my mom were the only ones that used to eat banga soup from the fere. So now come and be begging them to eat from their own because our own baby watch you and their own be very thick. And it's usually very seasoned, very thick. But now we're growing up and I can eat from fair. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed cooking with me and my sisters. This banga soup that I made is a lot. It's a whole lot. Because my mommy sent the banga and she sent a lot. So I just made all of them together. It's going to last us for a month. I don't know sure, but it's really a lot. So yeah, I hope you guys learned how to make my little soup with me. And our special, this is special fried rice, they said in black bell. See the plenty thing I cooked? It was in black bell now, they give me one spoon of that for 2000 something. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. So now I got these words. Now I got these words.